How is everyone doing today? My name's Chris. Welcome to Bourbon Say. We're back today and we have got another review and today we're going to be talking about two expressions from Peerless Distilling in Louisville, Kentucky. We've got the Peerless Small Batch Rye and the Peerless Bourbon. Let's get into it. Now, as I mentioned, Peerless comes out of Louisville, Kentucky. Now, it's right near downtown, near a couple other distilleries like Old Forester, Michter's. Peerless is there as well, and I was able to visit their location when I was in Kentucky last time. Awesome. Awesome place. Awesome process they're doing. It still seems like a, a family-run small distillery, even though at this point they're huge and growing. A couple really cool things about Peerless. Now, first of all, what they do is they actually use a low entry proof on their whiskey. So, entry proof into the barrel is 107. Now, from past experience, personally, I think lower entry proof can make a big difference. Uh, Michter's does a similar thing with a lower entry proof, and I think it honestly gives you a better texture, kind of more silkiness, better mouthfeel. So we'll see if that holds true today. One other thing that Peerless does, unlike pretty much every other distiller, is they use a sweet mash process. Now, sweet mash means they clean their tanks completely between each run when they make their whiskey. Now, for classic, typical bourbon, what they'll do is sour mash. Sour mash, they leave a little bit of that back set, or kind of like the leftovers in the fermentation tank, just to jumpstart the fermentation for the next run. It, it makes a more consistent product usually, helps the fermentation process go easier, and the sweet mash process is a lot more expensive to do. So that's part of the reason why Peerless has a higher price tag. Let's get these poured, and we'll get to talking about them a little more. Um, I've tried both of these in the past. And um, at the time, I believe they were the two-year expressions. These are a little bit older now at this point. So this, I believe, is a three-year rye, small batch rye. Now, they do also offer single barrel rye at the um, distillery itself. A couple of those single barrel ryes are out of this world. I mean, out of this world, so good. So let's start with the rye, and we'll work our way to the bourbon. Um, I'm excited to get into it, so let's go right into it. Starting with color... Really, really dark color. I mean, for a three-year product, this is looking very dark in my glass, which is impressive. You know, the small batch, they really only blend about six to ten barrels generally. Um, so it's a very small, small batch process, you know. The bottle I have is 109.6 proof, uh, so still probably very near barrel proof, if not barrel proof. Ooh, Okay. Uh, even for just being poured out of the glen or out of the gl the uh, glass here, not a huge amount of alcohol burn. Surprisingly, it's very citrus forward for me. I mean, I'm getting a lot of like that orange peel, that classic rye note, some pepperiness, very juicy, very fruity rye. You know, that's what's popping through to begin with. Proof seems right about that 110 just on the nose initially, but it's got a really really nice nose and it does not smell that youthful, which I really appreciate. That is good. It definitely drinks older than that. You know, like I mentioned, two-year, three-year rye. Really nice flavor. That citrus is definitely holding true for me. But honestly, on the palate, it's got a little more bourbon quality. I'm getting more of that, like, velvety caramel almost. Um, a little bit of vanilla, but it's definitely a rye whiskey. You can definitely tell it's a rye whiskey. Let's go another sip here. Mm. Honestly, my biggest concern and worry about this was harshness. Is it going to have that youthful harshness that comes through, tends to come through on, you know, younger whiskey, youthful whiskey? Not really. Surprisingly, not really. Um, very well put together. I think it's blended masterfully. The flavors that come through, it just coats very well. You know, I think, again, that lower entry proof into the barrel does make a difference because the coating on my mouth is there, you know. Mouthfeel, center of the palate, finish, all wonderful. Let's go into the bourbon here. Again, pretty dark color for being a three-year whiskey. Not too bad. Um, first time I tried this one, I was not impressed at all. I thought it was very youthful, very grainy. Um, this may even be a four-year product at this point. I'll confirm that and put that on the screen for you. Tried a single barrel expression of this, a store pick, and it was blind. I actually really liked that it. it plays like top two or top three by blind, so it can make all the difference. 
That's classic bourbon on the nose. Honestly, some char coming through. I think that proof probably helps that. But nice, like almost barrel char coming through. Rich caramel, rich vanilla. Slight ethanol burn as compared to the rye, which is kind of interesting because rye tend to usually gives me a little bit more alcohol burn or what I perceive as alcohol burn, even though it's probably just rye spice. A um, little bit more on the bourbon coming through. Definitely not off-putting. Definitely still wouldn't guess this is a three, four-year-old product. Mm. So I got a little more of that farmy corn on the palate. I definitely like the front of the palate of the rye better myself. Um, front of the palate here was good still on the bourbon. It just didn't give me that explosion of flavor I like in barrel proof or higher proof stuff. It kind of give, gives me that explosion of just richness and creaminess and deliciousness. Didn't get as much of that on the first sip, but still a well-balanced pour. You know, nothing sticking out more than another. Um, pretty decent. Let's give it another sip. Mm. Second sip was actually better. Um, as opposed to like that creaminess in the front of the palate, it's not really there for me. You know, mouthfeel I don't like as much as I did on the rye. I think the rye, given that it's higher rye, all that rye spice, coats the palate better, along with being near barrel proof. Um, still decent, decent mouthfeel on this. It just tends to dissipate. The finish does a little bit quicker. Um, definitely not a bad whiskey by any means, though. I mean, if I didn't know better, this was in a blind, I would never guess this is a three-year, four-year whiskey. So that's really impressive that they can get the flavors out of these bottles that they're getting at that age. Um, very impressive. And maybe it has something to do with the, the sweet mash process, the entry proof. Um, maybe it's just Caleb blending really well. You know, I, he's definitely doing that. So, but if you do get a chance to go to the distillery at Peerless, I definitely would recommend it. When I was there, I didn't get time to do the actual tour. I just walked the gift shop. I did the whole, you know, tasting that they offer there. Um, you got to try two single barrels, the rye and the bourbon, and it was like 10 bucks. So it was a great deal. Got to try all their stuff. And I would definitely recommend you check it out because it is a really cool place. It really is. Um, next time I go, I'm definitely going to be doing the tour uh, just to see more specifics, more details of what they're actually doing with these bottles. Um, so I can't wait to do that. But overall recommendation, I think on the rye, I would definitely recommend this, but my issue is the price. Now, for me here in Michigan, I'm seeing this between 100 and 125. Um, at the gift shop, they have the rye single barrels that are about 125-ish again too. I would get the rye single barrel over this uh, because the single barrel, like the one, the, the probably three or four barrels I've had, the single barrels, so flavorful, um, beyond delicious. Like they really are, really, really are. Um, bourbon now is running between, depending on where you live, 60 and 100 bucks. I know that's a wide range, but um, if it shows up in Michigan, it's pushing like 80 to 100 usually. So I would say probably 80 is going to be your average on the bourbon. It's hard at that price because we know what kind of whiskeys we can get at that price with the Stag Jr. and Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Um, but Peerless Bourbon for their rye and their bourbon, you can definitely tell is just the flavors there. Like when these two, three, four more years of age, this stuff's going to be sought after. The single barrels are going to be trading on secondary markets, like you, you can just tell the flavor profile is there. They definitely know what they're doing. Delicious stuff. Um, I, If you have the money to spend on these, you're not going to be disappointed getting them. Um, again, if it was for me, I would get the rye and I would get a single barrel rye if I could. But like I said, if you have the disposable income and you're willing to give them a go, you're not going to be disappointed with these pickups. Well, thank you all so much for coming in and checking out the episode today. If you like these types of videos, distillery products, distillery review type things, let me know down in the comments below. If you have had the small batch rye or the bourbon, um, single barrels even, I want to hear your thoughts. You know, did you, did you like them? Do you think they're worth the price tag? Because that's always the biggest hiccup with any bourbon. You know, there's so many options available to us as consumers these days. Does the price put you off to Peerless or are you still willing to pick them up? Because flavors are there. They really are there. I want to hear your thoughts. I gotta say a quick thank you so much to all my patrons, all the supporters of the channel. Thank you so much. Um, it's been a crazy, hectic time in my life, so I'm putting episodes out as I can. Got a lot going on behind the scenes. Uh, so, But I appreciate all the support, all you hanging with me, showing me love. It really means a lot. Um, if you want to get some challenge coins, check out the website, bourbonsane.com. We've got t-shirts, challenge coins, glasses, a whole bunch of stuff. So if you're interested, give that a check out as well. 
But I appreciate each and every one of you being here today. I'll see you very soon. Stay insane, everyone.